You've probably heard the urban legends that Twinkies aren't made from actual food, so, you know, they've got a shelf life of, like, forever. It's not true. This is real sponge cake. This is real cream filling. Or, I wouldn't want to do this. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Because it's real food, we can make an amazing home clone. So, I'm going to go over here to the store, get some ingredients, meet you back at the lab. Oh, and if you want to see what a Twinkie does look like, it's been sitting on a shelf for over 10 years, hang in there. Because I've got some. <laughs> Top secret recipes. Top secret recipes. Top secret recipes. Todd Wilbur. Todd Wilbur. Please welcome Todd Wilbur. For $26, you could go to Williams Sonoma and get this here Twinkie pan, which is crazy because for that same amount of money, you could get this many Twinkies, a hundred Twinkies. You don't need to buy this pan. I'm going to show you how to make the Twinkie pans from scratch. It's super easy. We'll uh, put this on eBay. Get some heavy duty foil, rip off a square piece, fold it in half lengthwise, fold it in half again, get yourself a spice bottle. Spice Islands is great. It's got a round bottom on it. Makes it look more like a Twinkie. Fold it up like this. Fold in the ends, take out the bottle, make it tight here on the ends, put this in a pan. We're going to use this pound cake mix. This is our cake mix, but we're not going to pay attention to the instructions on the back. Instead, we're going to do this. Four egg whites, beaten until kind of stiff like this, okay? Then take this pound cake mix, pop it into a bowl. A little bit of water, mix that up, so we have our cake mix looking like this, we're going to get our egg whites, fold them in, spray these suckers so we can get our Twinkies out later, a little uh, non-stick spray in there, golden, and then uh, load in some Twinkie batter. About, about that much in each one. Okay, get this. Marshmallow cream, two cups, a little bit of uh, shortening, some powdered sugar, and just a touch of vanilla. Look at that. Perfect, right? It's Twinkie filling. Here's our real Twinkie, and if you look on the bottom, there's three holes. That's where the filling goes. So we're going to do that in our clone. Same thing. Grab your clone out of the foil. Get a uh, chopstick and start making a cavity inside your Twinkie. This is where the filling is going to go. Now, you put your filling in a, in a pastry bag. I've got this gun right here. Okay? That's how we're going to load it. Start loading. Fill it up. Fill it up. Fill it up. You ready? Twinkie? Cream filling and into mouth. Mmm. This one's actually still warm. That makes it way better. Oh, that's so good. Clone Twinkie. Now let's find out what the old ones look like. I've been waiting for this. See that? See that right there? That's when I bought these Twinkies. Let's see what they look like. 13 year old Twinkies. No mold, no, no weirdness. They still look like a Twinkie. Isn't that crazy? Except for one thing. They're hard. <laughs> They're like petrified. Look at, look at. They're hard like a rock. They kind of smell funny too. Smell that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> They're rancid. Look at this. Okay. Now let's, let's open it. Oh my God, look, the filling. The filling is completely hard inside. Twinkies do not last forever. I have an idea. Let's take these outside. Get me outside. <laughs> and petrified. <laughs> I think I just got petrified Twinkie in my eye. <laughs> 